So this question is a system of equations question. The method that I prefer to use for a system of equations is elimination. So I'm just keeping that in mind and kind of thinking about that before I get started. So I see my two equations. Um, I can already tell that it's easiest to eliminate the y value. Right, I have a negative y here, a negative y there. <clears throat> so if I were to simply subtract, <coughs> excuse me, if I were to si simply subtract the bottom equation, if I like made this negative, made that positive, made this positive, then my y's would cross out, and I'd end up with a let's see, negative three x, right, six x minus nine x, is equal to negative four plus three, which is negative one, and I get x equals one third. So it seems pretty easy. Um, so the question says the solution to the given system of equations is x comma y. What is the value of y? Okay, well, so I could say, well, I already figured out that x is equal to a third. So what if I just go back now and go back to my, let's say, let's say the first equation, 6x minus y equals negative 4. And now because I know x equals one third, I replace x with one third. So 6 times one third minus y equals negative 4. 6 times 1 third is the same as 6 over 1 times 1 third, which when you multiply the fractions gives you 6 over 3, right? Minus y equals negative 4. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so 2 minus y equals negative 4. So I can subtract 2 from both sides, leaving me with negative y equals negative 6. And if negative y equals negative 6, we then know that positive y equals positive 6, right? So my y value is equal to 6. So that is a perfectly good way to answer the question. I kind of got ahead of myself by doing all this work initially, right? So I could have approached this as, hey, you gave me 6 y, 6x six minus y equals negative 4. You also gave me 9x minus y equals negative 3. And then you asked for the value of y. So why don't I use elimination in a way so that I can cross out the x value, right? So And just solve for y directly. So to do that, I'm looking at 6x here. I'm looking at 9x there. The lowest common multiple, right, the smallest number that both 6 and 9 evenly go into goes into is uh, 18. So if I multiply the top by positive 3, for instance, and multiply the bottom by negative 2, what I end up with is 18x minus 3y equals negative 12, right? That's just distributing the 3 across. And then for the bottom equation, I'd have negative 18x plus 2y equals positive 6, right? And again, that's just distributing the negative 2 across. The whole reason for multiplying by positive 3 and negative 2 is so that I can eliminate my x terms, right? 18x minus 18x. What I'm left with is negative 3y plus 2y, which is negative y, and negative 12 plus 6, which is negative 6. And once again, we see that looks just like what we had here. And we know that if negative y equals negative 6, then positive y equals positive 6. And once again, we have our, our answer, right? So our answer here is 6. So two different ways. Um, solve for x first and then plug in, or just go directly and find y initially.